Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I got a video request to talk about victim mentality and attracting toxic people in your life. Why do some people constantly attract toxic people into their lives? Problem people, abusive people, negative people, people that aren't good for you, okay? The reason why people attract these type of people in their life is because that's what they are. I'm sorry to tell you, but like attracts like. You're not going to attract Prince Charming if you're a nightmare yourself, okay? <laughs> um, so what you attract is a reflection of what you are. So you're gonna need to look within for that one. You're gonna need to step back and take a look in the mirror, take a look at the inside of yourself and ask yourself, why am I attracting this type of person? Why? If you're, an attract, if you're attracting a person who is toxic or negative, it's because that's what you're attracting. If you're attracting someone who's abusive, that means you're a victim, okay? Because you accept abuse, you like abuse, you're, you're vibrating, abuse me, abuse me, and so you're sending that out into the atmosphere, and so you're gonna attract an abuser. You're going to attract someone who, who can detect that you're easy to control, easy to manipulate, easy to um, hurt, and who will take it. Okay, there are some people that will not even let you talk to them a certain way. So they're not going to fall victim to toxic people. They're, they're because they respect themselves too much to let one sentence go by and not check that person. Okay, so if you notice, a lot of stronger women intimidate men or they intimidate people because they know that they can't mess over them so they just move past them and go for someone else you know if if someone comes up to you and says hey come over here did it you know and already commanding you and they don't even know who you are that's that's a red flag you know a lot of people will say um, some women have attitudes but that's protection you know a lot of women need to have attitudes because some men are toxic and it's it's a protection you know if someone calls you out of your name or you know asks you to do something that you're not comfortable with you're if you're if you love yourself first of all you need to love yourself and you won't attract toxic people because they're not attracted to people that love themselves so if you love yourself too much you're not even going to be bothered with those type of people you're gonna be like get away I don't think so do you know who I am do you know who you're talking to I'm not on your level okay get by you know, you're going to seem snobbish and stuck up to them because you're not on their level anymore. And because you have morals about who you talk to, you have standards now. Well, you don't have a lot of standards. You don't have a lot of morals. You don't have a lot of self-esteem or a lot of love for yourself. You're going to accept anything that's given to you or presented to you. Okay. So it starts within. If you want to stop attracting toxic people, Get yourself right, you know. Make yourself approachable for people that are decent, okay? Make yourself approachable for someone who wants a wife, uh, uh, someone who wants a partner, a companion, you know. Don't make yourself uh, seem like a victim. Don't keep making excuses of why your life is not this and don't tell your back sad story to everybody because that just gives them ammo to exploit you even further. Okay? Don't tell people your weaknesses right off the bat because they're going to use it against you. You always leave mystery about yourself. You don't tell everybody the whole story. You get their information first and then you decide if they're good for you or not. Okay? Um education you know most educated people are not going to be toxic because they're going to be too busy either learning or trying to bring themselves up you know people that have careers people that have financial stability they're not going to be concerned about you know controlling you because they have so much other things that they they need to tend to so you need to find someone who's a winner okay you can't you cannot keep attracting losers if you want 
to get out of that cycle. You need to become a winner so you can attract a winner. A winner is not attracted to a loser unless they're there to exploit them, okay? So you want you want to intimidate people. You don't want to be intimidated by people, okay? A lot of people used to tell me, oh, you're so intimidating to come up to, and da, da, da. well, that means it takes a real man to approach me, right? So you're not gonna get the lowest of the low. You're gonna get somebody with high self-esteem, enough in their pockets, and you know, someone who is attracted to you for your strength, not your weakness, okay? So, yes, um, and a lot of women don't even know what they want. We have our own Siri, just so you know. <laughs> okay, Sash, go to sleep. Sorry. So a lot of men, a, a lot of women don't even know what they want. Like they want, they can't tell you. If you ask someone, if you ask a woman, what do you want in a man? What do you want in a relationship? How do you see yourself in the next five years? They're not going to be able to answer you if they are too busy attracting toxic people because they don't have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you'll accept anything that walks in the door. If you have a plan and a checklist, it doesn't even have to be a checklist. But if you have a plan and that person doesn't fit into it, you're not going to waste your time with them. Okay, so get get a, get a plan. Know what you want. Bypass the stuff that doesn't fit into it and move forward and accomplish the things that you want relationship wise. Don't just settle for anything that walks in your life. No. If 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 women stop doing that, they would be much further along. Um I know you're gonna say, Well what about love? I love him and we were soulmates and da 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 No. This is your life now. Past lives, mm mm. This life, mm hmm do you want to remain a victim in your in your current life because chances are if you're a victim in this life you are a victim in your last life you have to break the cycle you know um and the only way to do it is to love yourself and to stop taking everybody's crap say no say no be a bitch that's the only way to do it men respect bitches and that's just the truth i just i can't say it any other way you know, they'll they they will respect you, and and you will never be a victim again if you take your power back. You know, you have to understand. People prey on victims, so love yourself. Create some standards. Um, make a plan. If that person doesn't fit into the plan, get rid of them with quickness. You know, just because someone stumbles into your life doesn't mean they're meant to be there. Sometimes they're just meant to be a lesson for you to grow stronger and move on to the next um, phase of your life. You know, uh, don't listen to people's BS. If, if someone is trying to convince you of something and make you believe something, that's the first sign of brainwashing. So if someone comes up to you and tries to convince you of something and change your belief about something and do this and do that, Get away from them because if they like you for you and they love you for you, they want you just the way you are. If you go to them asking for knowledge and they bestow upon you some knowledge that's helpful to you, then great. But if they come in with this overbearing, I control you, you're this, you're that, you know, listen to me, I'm the almighty, this, this, and that, and they're controlling and they're abusive and they create a victim out of you. You only can be mad at yourself because you let them treat you like that. You gotta, you gotta be a bitch to make it in this world. Yes, you do, and that's the truth. And I don't care if you believe it is true. Yes, okay, it's true. Bitches get respect. <laughs>